Well, Iran's diplomatic outreach does appear to be paying off, but what about the pressure at home in the shape of anti-regime protests? Well, there are reports of renewed demonstrations to coincide with the Persian New Year, or Nowruz. For more on that, we're joined by Maria Mimasadehi, the founder and director of the Cyrus Forum and a senior fellow at the Macdonald Laurier Institute. Great to have you with us, Maria. And the Persian New Year carries a, a special significance this year, doesn't it? Nowruz, of course, predates uh, the Islamic conquest of Persia. Yes, indeed, Laura. Um, this holiday, Charshamba Suri, falls uh, one week prior to Nowruz, uh, the first of the new year, um, at the turn to spring. And it has historically been a time when uh, people, since the revolution, turn out on the streets not just to celebrate their ancient holiday, their Zoroastrian holiday, pre Islamic uh, festival, um, but to show their dissent from the regime. Uh, the regime cracks down on any kind kind of Iranian uh, national um, uh, heritage. So Nowruz itself, uh, for many years, the regime tried to get rid of from the Iranian culture and people resisted. And likewise, Charshan Basuri. This year is different, of course, because there's a revolution going on. It, it's ebbing and flowing and, um, and has suffered significantly because of very violent repression. But people tonight are um, in the fires that they jump over are also um, uh, burning the image of Khamenei, burning the flag of the regime, and burning their headscarves um, in protest. And so this year, uh, the the resistance by people on the streets is um, very much part and parcel to the larger revolution. Mm, well, uh, we've been talking a, a lot about Iran's efforts to repair ties in the region. Do you think that with that deal with Saudi Arabia, the regime has, has managed to inflict a, a kind of a psychological blow on the protesters. I think that's the intention. Uh, in large part, the the peacemaking with Saudi Arabia is meant to send a signal uh, to the uh, people of Iran that the regime isn't going anywhere, uh, that it's capable of um, aligning itself with Russia uh, and um, uh, sending drones to kill innocent Ukrainians. It can uh, meet together with the Lukashenko from Belarus, as you just reported. Um, it can uh, become closer to China all while uh, dangling the prospect of a new nuclear deal in front of the United States and Europe. Um, so the people of Iran are very, very sensitive to how uh, Western countries are continuing to show appeasement towards the regime. But at the same time, they are continuing, as your imagery shows, they are continuing to uh, uh, wage their revolution against the regime. And it's the root causes of the regime aren't going anywhere. If anything, they will continue to deepen and be exacerbated. Um, the lack of freedom, the injustice, the widespread corruption, the very, very high prices, um, the poverty, uh, in environmental mismanagement such that large parts of the country, when it's particularly in the summertime, don't have clean air, don't have drinking water. These uh, problems are not going anywhere for the regime. And the biggest threat to the regime right now is undoubtedly the people of Iran.